Hi, y'all. This is just another homestead update of what's been happening at the JRC. We visited friends and looked at the rain harvesting system, dropped by a neighbor's to see his lambs, and of course we worked on lots of projects as we build our house. So check it out. Join us on our adventure. What are we shopping for today? Uh, interior trim. One by fours, one by sixes, one by twelves. For the windows and the door frames? Yeah, well, just the windows and the baseboards and the ceiling bowls, and corner bowls, that kind of stuff. Okay. Today, David and our neighbor are bringing in wood that we bought yesterday in the big city. And this is wood that's going to trim out the windows and around the ceilings. And he's got some for the closets, too. A lot of little trips going in. Thank God for good neighbors. All right. Thumbs up. That's what David's given me. But it's got a Band-Aid on it. So why does it have a Band-Aid? Because I shot myself with this gun. Not good. <laughs> Not good. But it was the gun's fault. It was nothing I did. Oh, so it wasn't an operator error. It was the machine. Actually, it was the board. It was a bad board, and the nail came out the side. It wasn't supposed to do that. Bad board? Yep. This is what our garage looks like before we put our furniture in it. David and our son has been cleaning it out today. All right, David's pulling our storage trailer, our enclosed trailer by the tractor. We've had it at a neighbor's, storing it for about the last nine months. You're gonna be seeing stuff for the first time in a long time. Oh man, there's some boxes that are just like barely there. And there's the garage all full of stuff. The trailer's empty and ready for David to take it back to get our last load. Here they come back. They've been going down the road and picking up some big rocks so that when David mows the right away, he doesn't hit them with his mower. We're cleaning out the house today. We have a contractor coming out that will be staining our concrete, so we need to get lots of our equipment out of here. 
So it's being broke down and being taken to the garage. And David has some help from our sons. And out here we get lots of hail, so the rain gutters that feed these systems were damaged in a big hail storm, so they're not able to collect water. They're having to pump into it right now. In the middle there. Oh, okay. But it's it goes down and behind this post. Uh huh. This big post right here. I'm. See, it comes down and it comes in here. It's in here. Whoop. Trying to keep you out of shot. <laughs> For ultra UV light, I, I was kind of picturing something that would be a little bit bigger, but uh, that's all it takes, huh? Yeah, that's what they say, and this is a million gallon for those blue bottles. Yeah, wow. and of course got all the UV, uh -huh. you know, check it out lights and stuff like that. But our neighbor's sheep had triplets. <laughs> She's very protective. Aren't they cute? Look at those little babies. Well, the garden's planted and we're having a little hailstorm. But it's just pea sized so far, so I think we'll be okay. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate your comments, your suggestions. They help us to improve the channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, we'd love to have you. So join us as we build our homestead from the ground up. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.